right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode here on Past Easter Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for coming again. If you've been here before, then you know what to be expecting. If you've never been here before, welcome to Past Easter Skin. Today, we're going to be doing a cold open for a video game called Raiden 5 Director's Cut. Now, uh, if you're not aware, Raiden is a long-running shmup series. It's uh, one of the formative, like, bullet hell, uh, let's get fucked off with the amount of money that we're dropping into an arcade machine money crunching two life having credit abusing <laughs> shoot 'em ups and uh Braden 5 the definitive edition the director's cut the uh, the final version i suppose would be the most considered way to say it is actually out on ps4 so let's take a wee look at it and have a wee look see don't expect me to be amazing at these because to, any of these games take months of kind of like focus and memorization to really get into. Damn, these ships look beautiful. The Moulin Rouge! I do you believe I have just found my ship? Destroy the ships! Fly and kill all the bad guys! Oh, the game's got so much tone to it. Oh, the ship doing its recon back here. Uh, cool. All the weapons, all the times, all the things that fall behind. New writing of the story is now beginning. New writing of the story is now beginning. Uh, somebody had the bomb. Zig. I assume it's intentional. RDV. Right, so we actually do have a story. Um, I'm going to take a quick look at the options. Let's take a look at the settings through here. Uh, shield read. Oh, okay. Cheer Event Connect? Okay, whatever that is. Oh! <laughs> no, this is not a trailer. This is the full thing. Uh, cheer, cheer at. Okay. <laughs> uh, bomb shot. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oh no. No, 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 no. And uh, we want to reset that. Balls. Hang on. And. Yeah. I'm just taking a wee look here to see what kind of like alternate configurations I can play around with. That's it, yeah. I'm gonna put shot and bomb on top buttons as well, just to have them as an option. Yep, back. Happy days and sorted. Story mode! <laughs> no enemies will fire any shots. Uh, I do believe that we will be going with something a little bit other. Um, PS4 controller, man, because I don't play Xbox. This is all PS4. Yeah, we'll give this a try on normal. And why do I prefer the PS4 controller? Just ergonomics. I kind of got used to the boomerang. The boomerang's got a nice kind of grip. You can do this with it. You can actually hold it in a single grip. Positioning the pad buttons are actually like sitting quite evenly and centered. Everything's fairly symmetrical on the pad. I don't know, doesn't reason why. Right, uh, Japan, America, or France? Well, I'm going to be going with that Moulin Rouge. We plasma. And laser, charge laser, reflect laser. Wide Vulcan, swing Vulcan, moving Vulcan. Ah, uh, white Vulcan. There we go. That's uh, that's us ready. That's that's us ready. Yes. Okay. This is gonna be fun. I'm actually looking forward to playing this because I haven't actually played a good old school shooter in a while. 
Are there any survivors from the 3rd Infantry Division and the 11th Regiment? Nope, not a single one of us left. We're all dead. They're engaged in battle with the enemy's 18th Mechanized Battalion. They're requesting reinforcements. Yep, we kinda need the help. 2nd and 4th Armored Division retreat. More than half of both divisions are reporting to be dead. Well, obviously, because we're not reporting back on any way, shape, or form, because we're all actually dead. How long must we wait in the shadows? Why won't they launch the fighting thunders? I don't know what that means, what a fighting thunder is, but, uh... The man mutters in an irritated voice. The colossal enemy had suddenly appeared in the heart of North America. This is nothing like the smaller contained weapons of the past. During the test flight of the latest state-of-the-art colossal airship that the army had been developing, it had been contaminated by the crystal. Not only is this a blow to the army's pride, but it is enough to threaten the army's tradition of handling everything on their own. Under normal circumstances, when a containment could contamination occurs, they cannot be handled by regular forces. A request for an attack using the Vanquish Crystal Defense is placed, but they have been left with the order of standby in the background. Emergency contact from the army. Immediately carry an attack by Fighting Thunder, assist the North American Army, and completely destroy the targeted weapons of destruction. Those are their orders. Yes, ma'am. Finally, the attack order to rescue the lives of thousands of soldiers has been placed. Let us do battle! Hey, Raiden, did you hear that? It's a little late, but hurry and make your way to the battleground. I'll transfer each of you the info. Too much blood has already been shed, but we'll do what we can to stem the flow. Right, um, the audio levels are a bit garbage. <laughs> just, just like, somebody has not, in order to speed up their attack, but even a little of the ultimate anti-crystal weapons, the treasures of mankind, the fighting thunders have been waiting spread out next to the warship. Right, the... Like a war cry for the battle awaiting them, their red wings gleam in the sunlight. Like a requiem for the lost souls, their engines roar as they fly off into the sky. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. <laughs> battle begins as the Raidens fly into battle. Alright, let's rock and roll. Oh, this actually looks kind of cool with the um, UI goes around the outside of it. Let's kill them! There doesn't appear to be many enemies coming to the top, but you can't be negative. Remember, shoot them before they shoot you. Back. You're aware of it, but it's the first time to witness contamination of this level. How do I position? The 
number I'm trying of to position the actual thing I'm actually flashing off against it. This is actually kind of frustrating. Oh, that's so annoying because I can't actually move that goddamn thing. Do you have any better advice for me? I believe it's the captain's role to give advice. Do you have any advice for me? Scene cleared, and I have to get on to a boss. Enemy fly battleships are approaching. That takes down the boss anyway. Check that the enemy suspended action clock. Yeah, this is actually pretty solid as a shooter. I'm having a good time, but yeah, the gameplay gameplay is uh, I you can't really ask for more as a actual like smoky shooter. It just it looks pretty good. The transitions are actually really good. Awesome. It's just the fact that this is actually like an old school game that they didn't really Excellent what else job. can you do with it? So they just add more shit like so this to it. Just add the interim bits in between, you add a lot more kind of like UI. Uh, the fact that they still kept with the vertical kind of game style, the actual like vertical screen, which you would have used to add as a monitor turn on the side, but still kind of it's, it, it works it works for this game type. You want vertical space, you're not worried about horizontal space. Well, I'd like lax over a coffee now, but it seems that's not possible. Whoop, whoop. What's the report of Shiri? We have received contact from the Middle East Bridge. It appears to be a high crystal attack to the vicinity of latitude 8 degrees north and longitude 8 degrees east. Same about losing all my health. Close enough Captain, to it though. You weren't very efficient out there. I'm sure there's no problem with the plane. Raise the battery and start going over the plane. Why have you chosen to make it? I just feel like I quite like I mean essentially I even just jump this quick playthrough is a solid intense game. Ah damn it, I blew myself up. 
Stay alive, stay alive. And he'll lie on the door himself. Let's just be cautious for now. Cheer support! <laughs> Down you go. <laughs> Get a fairy. <laughs> nice. Oh, God. Of me. <laughs> oh man. Oh, God, I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Almost there. Oh, man, that's actually pretty damn. It, this actually does keep you kind of locked in. The, the pace of these kind of games always has. So you run out of lies or run out of money. Up and report. There's a crystal reactor in the cave, but no contamination has been detected from other than the So it's a cave surrounded by crystals. Is it not a promising cave for the future? Man, give me a break. But to have contamination in the cave? I guess the cave being. Thanks very much for the subscribe and follow. <laughs> Trying to focus. Um, yeah, this is actually oh, awesome. I hate to shoot my focus in a long time. Oh man, here comes the Narbaz. Well, we'll have to ask it to come out. Guess what? Time to call for more cheer support. Heading to the wind's shipping port. Plans have changed state. Well, I think Oh, you see, the interior actually like, people that choose Sorry, to think about the Ah, okay, okay. Gotcha. Why are we heading toward the wind's port when Bellwether doesn't really need any good That question exceeds your rank. But I'm not good at keeping secrets. I'm doing this to check on a hypothesis. I had a three 
a hypothesis, sir? Let's hope I'm not wrong. Anyways, we'll get a little break if nothing happens. Right. Still got the. I'm, I'm gonna. This is my last minion. So this actually would have been uh, my last minion in the arcade. One last like. Got, I got this. Okay, I can. I can survive for a bit longer. You can handle them, right? Yeah, I'm actually really enjoying this. Um. This is such a throwback to like pretty much everything I used to play on the game whenever I actually like something like oh, yeah. uh, arcade games here that really enjoyed. Or um, yeah. my yeah. early games I really enjoyed like Galaxy and Salamander and Salamander. Like, even the even the best game I ever enjoyed on the Saturn, Ikaraga, it's all fucking it all comes back to this right now. Because the fact like Giga Wing and like even whenever on the Dreamcast, like Giga Wing and the other one I actually really enjoyed the shit out of as well. There's a whole bunch of actual, like, uh, probably games that actually came out on the actual Dreamcast. They weren't, they weren't designed to be played on a console like that, but just, like, they made ports of them and they were so enjoyable. Oh, I mean, man. I, like, I'm not gonna survive very long in this. <laughs> I think I'm actually reaching my limits. like one hit left. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. I did not want that. Ah, oh, this weapon's way too weak. Yeah, I knew it was coming. I just didn't have the power to actually take enemies out quick enough. Guys, thank you very much. Uh, that was actually my playthrough of Raiden 5 for the first couple of levels of it anyway. Uh, here for Cold Open here on the channel. Uh, you can tell that I kind of I got, got emotionally involved in the play of that game. I would love to go back and play a little bit more. There's so many games of that of this genre that actually like people just tend not to play to pay attention anymore. They have evolved to a massive degree. Ikaraga being a massive watershed moment in my opinion. Previous ones that kind of like didn't really involve themselves with the graphics graphical style that this was. Um, I think Gradius actually or our type in Gradius actually had a uh, really really recent. What was the cheer list? Oh, I thought I could actually get the cheer list up. Um, I really thought there was actually a. Um, a new market bar burgeoning for these games, but then they kind of like uh, seem to feel like it actually faded away as well. But uh, if you ever get the chance, you should check out Raiden 5. It's available on the PlayStation Network. Um, I'm pretty sure it's on the American store. I don't know if it's in the European store just yet. But um, if you like this game style, if you like the top down shooters, it's a good fun experience. Uh, basically, with a little bit of customizability and variance in the vehicles and in the weapons you can use. It can be quite enjoyable and it looks gorgeous as you just saw and very involving and if you have the experience the time and the skill to actually be able to survive bullet hell shooters yeah you ain't really gonna go wrong with this one so yeah guys thank you very much for watching if you happy to enjoy this and make sure to hit the like the subscribe the follow the share whatever it may actually be the most relevant thing to you i don't know where you actually happen to be watching this and if you happen to be watching this on youtube right it was very specific things There'll be a box that appears up there. I'd really appreciate you hitting that box. Up here will actually be a recent playlist. And over in the far side will be actually the most recent video on the channel. And right here will be a video just for you. Based on the user analytics and things you do on YouTube and all the things you actually sit down and watch it. We'll pick a video that I have actually made that you will enjoy. And it will be that one right there for you. I highly recommend you check it out. It'll be the one that you will actually enjoy next. And if one last thing, as always, if you don't want to do any of those things, we understand it does happen. Memorize the name. Pass your skin.
right there in front of me it's on my screen just look at that memorize it and feel free to search for it anytime you feel like to watch some more stuff by me thank you very much for watching and i will see all you dudes in the next video bye